To solve these questions, we apply the same approach of cross multiplying. Um, so one multiplied by five will be equal to three multiplied by three X. So you end up with five will be equal to nine X. The opposite of multiplying by nine is dividing by nine. So X will be equal to five over nine. We can apply the same approach, approach here. Um, so just write negative five as negative five over one. That does not change anything. And that will allow you to cross multiply. So negative five multiplied by seven X will be equal to four multiplied by one. So negative 35 X will be equal to four. And then the opposite of uh, multiplying by negative 35 is dividing by negative 35. So X will be equal to negative four over 35. Okay, um, next problem, we shall apply the same approach. Um, we write negative two as negative two over one to allow you to cross multiply. So one multiplied by three X plus five will be equal to negative two multiplied by X plus four. And then you shall end up with, uh, if you just foil this, you shall end up with 3x plus uh, 5 will be equal to negative 2x minus 8. And this is where you need to apply that approach of getting rid of the smaller x. So add 2x on both sides. So you'll end up with uh, 5x plus five will be equal to negative eight. And then you want to be left with X, so get rid of five. So five X will be equal to negative 13. But again, because we want to solve for X, um, you have to divide by five. So X will be equal to negative 13 over five, and that will be the required solution. So we can apply the same approach here, um, write this over one and then cross multiply. So negative nine multiplied by one will be equal to three multiplied by two X plus one. And then uh, this leads to negative nine will be equal to, if you foil those, you'll end up with six X plus three. And because you want to be left with X, you subtract three on both sides. So negative 12 will be equal to um, 6x. Then you divide by 6. So x will be equal to negative 2. Um, and the same approach can apply on the last two questions. So again, you cross multiply. 1 into x plus 1 will be equal to negative 1 multiplied by 1 minus 2x. Now, the only thing here is you have to be careful with these negatives. Um, so x plus 1 will be equal to negative 1 plus 2x. Negative multiplied by negative is a positive. And then get rid of the smaller x, so subtract x from both sides. So 1 is equals to negative 1. Uh, plus x. Then just add one on both sides. So two is equals to x. And that will be the required solution. Um, for the last problem, again, uh, write, rewrite this over one and then cross multiply. So one into three minus two x will be equal to negative six multiplied by x plus four. And then uh, Foil, the first one, no need, because if you multiply anything by one, you just remain in that. So that will be um, three minus two X will be equal to negative six X minus 24. And now this is the point where you need to get rid of the smaller X. So add six X on both sides. Uh, so three, uh, plus 4x will be equal to negative 24 because this will be 0. And then uh, because you want to solve for x, subtract 3 from both sides. So 4x will be equal to negative 27. 
and then divide by 4. So x will be equal to negative 27 over 4. And that will be the required solution.